Bitcoin continues to drop. I currently do have a bearish bias and I am expecting lower prices to come. Uh, that said, as of yesterday, of course, I told you I'm in a long trade on Bitcoin. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the targets that we currently have, why I have a bearish bias, where I'm expecting Bitcoin to drop to. And even with a bearish bias, even though I expect lower prices to come, how it's still possible to take and profit on long trades in this current bearish trend. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of information shared with you today. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. You can learn a lot and uh, yeah, get ready to uh, capture the next move with us. So, you know, first of all, was I wrong to long Bitcoin? Of course, we've seen a large drop to the downside here, right? From $30,000 here all the way back down to $29,000. So we've seen a $1,000 drop on Bitcoin. Was I wrong to long? Well, Honestly, if you understand my style of trading, you'd already know the answer. And of course, the answer should be no, it wasn't long. It wasn't wrong too long. Why? Because our long, remember, was taken down at the lows of the swing failure pattern. And then we have a rise to above $30,000. Okay, so you have to remember it's all about entry price. So when we enter at the lows and we rise to $30,000, we have, of course, by that time, locked in take profit one, potentially locked in take profit two, moved that stop loss up. So even if we then go from 30000 to $10,000, that long still ends in a profitable trade. How do we make sure it ends in a profitable trade? We lock in take profit. We lock in take profit, you move the stop loss up, that protects you that even if we get a sudden crash to the downside, you still end in a profitable trade. So that's the first thing that I wanted to approach of, was I actually wrong by longing? And in my honest opinion, if we are making profits, then that's not a wrong decision. Okay, and the takeaway point here is lock, make sure you're locking in take profits because, you know, how can a lot of people get stuck in this market? Well, they get a really good long trade entry off of the swing failure pattern. There is a lovely big rise to the upside. And on that big rise, they do not take any take profits. They just think, oh, this is just going to continue higher and higher and higher. They don't lock in any take profits. They don't take any hedge positions off a of liquidity grab. And well, then suddenly you see a really profitable green position turn into red as we get a subsequent drop. Okay. I also mentioned that I have a bearish bias and I do expect lower prices. This is not only based on the order flow, which for me is very bearish. It has been for a while now. This Everything we see on the order flow is just absolutely bearish. With the amount of positions are opening, the way we're seeing the delta and the CVD, especially over the past few days, this is just very worrying for bulls. OK, and very bearish indeed. So, you know, it's the order flow that gives me this very bearish bias. But when I look at the chart, too, I mean, we're in a clear downtrend with clearly flip range support into resistance. You know, I look at the context of the market and I just have to say to myself, Daniel, trade the charts. These charts are undeniably bearish. Um, you know, that's not to say I'm scared to take a long. If I'm given a really good opportunity, which I feel, you know, the SFP of the SFP was a good long opportunity. And of course, it played out very nicely. Um, feel that was a good opportunity. So I'm not scared to take a long if I'm given a very good risk to reward trade. But I am very mindful of the fact I got to be very aggressive on my take profit one. You know, and I could even reduce the position size of that long because you know we are definitely trading against the trend. And overall, I still remain bearishly biased, expecting lower prices. So, with that in mind, how am I approaching the market today? Uh, well, I'm approaching the market today. Well, as mentioned, expecting a drop to come. So, our next level to the downside is this MPOC, which again we can expect uh, an intraday reaction. But I'm really not that interested in it. Okay, I'm expecting still us to break through this and come down lower. Why? Because I look at my other markets as well. Again, this correlation has come and gone, but currently. It is a strong correlation with the ES, which, of course, is always just <laughs> it's just done the swing failure pattern of this high. And it's currently still pulling back from that swing failure pattern. We got a bit of an SFP yesterday, which didn't result in much continuation. But my biggest thing here is the DXY. 
how we see this formed its liquidity grab off the lows of 100 points and gets this rise. I'm still expecting the DXY to rise. I'd like to just show you this prediction because you can see here the lines. I'll just show you how I made this um, you know, before it happened, back in May actually, right? So back in May, this was in a Champions live stream, made this prediction on the DXY. Uh, and why am I explaining this to you now? Well, obviously I'm gonna explain what I'm looking for next. But how to show you technical analysis is what runs this market. You know, the DXY is the dollar index, if you don't know. So it's the dollar, the strength of the dollar. A lot of people are going to say the strength of the dollar is, uh, you know, all about world events, all that's happening in the real world. And I'm here to show you, well, no, it's based off a of technical analysis. Or how else on this prediction would I be able to say we're going to rise to the weekly before pulling back to 100 points? Okay, rise and hit the weekly, pull back to 100 points. And this was an updated prediction that I made. Okay, then back in um, July was fake out, hit 100 points, then get the rise to the upside, e.g. form the descending triangle and rise. We can actually see how from that prediction of hitting the weekly, pulling back to 100 point rise, we actually come up, we tap that weekly, pulled back to 100 points. And here we are, of course, getting the rise in price. You can see how very, very accurately, <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right, uh, we, we come up and we hit that weekly. You know, that is pinpoint accuracy, right? Pinpoint accuracy of the weekly. What happened next? You know, we dropped and we took out 100 points, reclaimed the triangle, lovely rise to the upside. So I'm not, I'm just here to show you the power of technical analysis, okay? I'm just showing you evidence in front of your face of what we can do with the charts, how we know to remain patiently waiting for lower. Just as on Bitcoin right now, I am patiently remaining, waiting for lower. You know, on the DXY, we had to wait several months, months we had to wait for this to play out to eventually come down to 100 points before we get the rise in price. Of course, this is exactly how it played out in the end. But with this in mind, we're expecting a DXY rise that is inversely correlated to asset to Bitcoin. So when the DXY rises, we're generally saying that Bitcoin is going to drop. So this is another thing that I have in mind. Okay, we can see an intraday rise, but this is a short trade opportunity. For the biggest, well, the first biggest level below us will be this low, right? Because we do then have another potential swing failure pattern off of this low. Okay, so that would be like, la 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 la, come down, take that low. And then we, from here, we'll judge the reaction. Do we get a reaction? and we get an SFP. If so, we can look for that long trade entry. But if we just, you know, basically waterfall down here, well, that is a very bearish option indeed, because we do not have any support close by. And we can quickly see prices drop to below and around $27,000. So I just urge a little bit of caution right now. We have the last opportunity below us around this low. If we take that out again with no SFP and we continue this downtrend, this is very bearish indeed. i just doing this video today to, um, you know, basically urge some caution. At the end of the day, um, no financial advice, right? you got to do what you want to do. This is just my opinion, and I'm just doing a commentary of my opinion. But my opinion is Bitcoin is bearish right now. The cryptocurrency market is bearish. I'm not here to FUD. I'm not here to I'm not here to do any of that. I am here because I truly believe I can help you with my words and giving you a bit of a heads up of what could potentially come if I am correct. Uh, but I foresee a drop. I foresee bearish scenario. And um, yeah, whether you listen to me or not, that's your uh, choice now, right? I've got my plan. I've got my perspective. I've got my bias. That will be we continue down. Again, it could just be another few hundred dollars to the downside. I'll see the reaction at this low. If we form an SFP, well, I will, as I've been doing for the past few months, take a long trade off of that. But I would make sure I lock in my first take profit one, okay? And then go from there. Maybe we get a full-blown reversal, time will tell, right? But for now, yeah, clear, expecting lower prices. Again, I've already updated this in my Discord, but I'm remaining bearish. Of course, I've done my daily live stream update where I've done the whole live stream explaining why I was bearish. So if you want the updates before everybody else, that's what you get within the group of Chart Champions. This is for the Champions membership via our website, chartchampions.com, right? That's where you get the trading updates. That's where you get the live streams with the calls. Uh, that's where you get the live trading 
Okay, that's where you also get all of the uh, new contender sessions. These are now uh, done in 15 minute videos. So this is my new swing trading strategy. Hello. As you can see, tour on 14 minutes long. So the videos now are much more condensed. They don't go on for an hour, two hours. No, they're 15 minute videos to teach you the theory uh, in the most efficient way possible. So we got the whole new updated courses. Of course, we got the speed runs of all of this. We got the courses up to Elliott Waves. We got the journal on the website. We got the vault with the cheat sheets and the templates for all that order flow content that you need. Um, yeah. And on top of that, of course, you got the trading updates that we give in the group. So if you want that, those updates before everyone else. Again, this is for some people just a confidence booster. They read our posts. It has, you know, it gains them confidence in not taking silly long trades of absolutely taking short trades and, um, you know, trading with uh, the coach's bias. So, uh, you know, if you want that confidence booster, if you want to learn to trade, if you want all the support you need, chartchampions.com. I'm going to wrap it up there. Hope you've understood this. Maybe you take my words, maybe you don't. Uh, this will, video, will I just need to run out now because i got to do another uh, video for the champions. And this video will be uploaded in roughly two or three hours time once I've finished that. Uh, but yeah, I will make this post also on Twitter. So uh, yeah, hope that you thoroughly enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And I'll catch you over in the website membership. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.